Spike, Fleetwood at True Love by Swedish Diablo. For the past several months, Spike has been feeling quite down. And the reason why he has been feeling so very sad lately is the reason is that one day he actually told Rarity how he felt for her. He was prepared for that she would say, Oh, I love you too, Spike. But it turns out she was already engaged with someone else. And that broke Spike's heart. And she even said that she only loved him as a brother, nothing else. And that even broke his heart even more. Spike, when he first was told about this, he ran all the way back home to the castle. Twala was even home with him. He didn't left his, he, he didn't leave his room for several days. And even Twala was getting worried about him. She was told by Rarity what would happen, and she felt guilty about not telling Spike about her, about Rarity's engagement. She was actually still engaged with Soren from the Wonderbolts. And even Twilight had asked Fluttershy and even Pinky to try to share him up. But they tried and tried and tried, over and over, but to no good. Even Pinky was very disappointed that she didn't manage to share Spike up. She usually are very good to share up Spike or others, but this time is a failure. Try to thank them for at least trying to. But after some time, Spike said it was not worth to be that it is crying anymore. But even he tr tried to give forgive and forget about his crush on Rarity. But every time when he saw her with Sorin, he always ran back home and cried some more. Twilight was getting more worried about Spike. She tried to share about some travel to Crystal Empire, so, this, so he can meet his friend, Sunburst, very hard, even Forex. But no point, not even Forex could share him up. At the same time, in Cloudsdale, the Wonderbolt member Fleetfoot had actually been together with her boyfriend for at least two years. She was ready to settle down with him until she found out. When she came home, she found a letter. It was from her boyfriend. It said that he had... that he didn't love her anymore and that he had moved on. That he had moved Dunk from Cloudsdale to Trottingham and found someone else. That broke her heart very much. Sorin, Spitfire and the others were so very much surprised to see Fleetwood so much crushed. She was so devastated. All the time she has been so very brave and very optimistic and even so very open about her relationship, or even open about her emotions. But this time, when they were doing a practice, they could notice that she wasn't even herself. So Sorin asked her if something was wrong. At first, she didn't say much. Then, she literally broke down. The others just stopped middle of the practice and saw that Fleetwood was crying so much. And they looked at each other and they asked Soren if he had done something. And he only said that he asked if she was okay or something. And then even she started to cry even more and fly away. She didn't appear anymore at the practice for the next two weeks. Spitfire told her that he might maybe take some 
some prey of vacation. And she decided to do it. But she couldn't even stay in Clownsdale for some time. So she asked Rainbow if she could stay at her home in Ponyville for the next two weeks. And Rainbow didn't mind having any a guest over. So they could spend so much time. But even then, Flitfoot didn't leave Ra Rainbow's home for so much. She often lay on the guest room bed and do nothing except cry. All she was crying about her true feelings for her old boyfriend. And at the same time in Pony, Spike had tried to move on from his feelings for rarity, but it didn't work so much. Even he tried to share him up himself with space and time with Apple Bloom, Scootaloo, and Sweetie Belle, helping them, helping them with all their routine of helping other fellows and calls to, to find their cutie marks. But it turns out to know almost no good. Even they managed to share Spike up a little bit. But the both part was still heartbroken. And one day when he met, Flitfoot was walking around town. He was surprised to see her there. And he asked how she was. And she said that she was fine. But he could notice that she was had been crying. And he asked if, was some, if something was smaller or wrong with her. And she didn't say anything. Just looked down on the ground and he said I'm guessing you're you got your heart broken all she used to do is to just look down as a surprise did anybody told you about it? no I saw your expressions and I know how it feels you do? she asked. And Spike explained what happened to him. And she was surprised. And he told her that he had been in love with Rarity for so long time. Ever since the first day he moved to Ponyville. And now he was very much heartbroken. He said, I will never find my true love. And Flitfoot Willie felt sorry for Spike and said, maybe they could do something, just spend some time, maybe get to know each other better. And Spike just smiled and said, yeah, that would be pretty good. So they actually went to this local ice cream store to buy some ice cream. After they had bought their the ice cream, they went to the park to sit down on one of the benches there near the fountain. At first they didn't say much together. Spike just sit there, looked at the other ponies, playing with the children, seeing the couples, having fun together. Just to see the couples around the walking town in the park, he made them almost start to cry even more. Spike you don't have to feel like that. You will find your love, said Flitfoot. But Spike didn't say anything. Except, no, I won't. Rarity was the only one I loved, and I would never find anyone like her. And then, Flitfoot did something that Spike was not prepared for. She actually kissed him on the cheek. He looked at her and she said, You will. And Spike didn't say anything, just looked at her. And just then, Would you go out with me? asked Spike. Flitfoot was not prepared for that Spike would even ask her. But then she said, yeah, I would. And Spike and Flitfoot decided to go out with the next day. He decided that they could go out to this 
to the bar, uh, to the restaurant nearby, near the park, and that they could meet at the park around 5 p.m. and decided to do it. And when Spike Lee came home, Twilight could notice that he felt was seemed a little more happier than before he left. And she asked if something had happened. And Spike told her that he had asked Fleetfoot out on a date. And, and Twilight was not prepared for it that kind of event. And during the dark evening, Spike was just laying on his bed reading some comic books at the same time thinking about Fleetfoot. He knows that they had some, some things in common, but he asked her out just to be friendly, and also to that, to share her help what she had been through. And that next day, Spike helped Twilight in the castle almost every all day, but around 5 p.m. he left to meet Fleetwood at the park. And when he saw her, she was wearing a light blue dress, and he was very surprised, and she was so beautiful. And he even told her that. All she was used to smiling and blushing. They went to a restaurant. At first, it was a bit quiet between them, since the spy didn't know what to talk about, to, but then he asked her, something about her, what she liked to do, what kind of music likes, and from that moment, the eyes they had it between their talk slowly was breaking, and soon they talked a lot, a lot of things, all about their, their interest, what they like to do, what their kind of food they likes, and even Spy told that he had to, to save in questions, during the quest of games, and and he saved from King Sombra, and she was actually had heard of those stories, and she was very much surprised even hearing them from him. And after they had left the, the restaurant, they actually took a, a small walk together. They used to through the park, they used to enjoy the skies, just to watch stars together. And then she actually hit the spike and said thanks for the date, and she fled back to, to Rainbow's home. And Spike, he was really much happy to even ask her out. So for the next couple of days, he actually met Leafield even more. Now they actually have went to the cafe to, some, to grab something to eat. They went to the restaurant to start eating lunch. And she was actually started feeling much better. She had almost forgotten about her old boyfriend. Until she saw him in Ponyville. She was, he was actually there for a visit to an old friend. He saw her. But he didn't say or they say even waved her. And what did she do? Nothing. She just looked at him and turned away. She had totally gotten over him, and all she used to do is spend more time with Spike all the time we had, she was there for the next two weeks. And even when she came back to the Wonderballs, they all noticed that she was very much happier than now than was before. And they asked her what she had been doing since she was in Polaroid for two weeks. She said that she spent a lot, a lot of time with Spike, and she actually started falling for him. She knows that even he's a baby dragon, that she is a full adult. She still loves him. For some reason, she had fallen for Spike because of his kindness, honesty. Even then, she really fell in love with Spike. And that from the moment. She decided to at least tell him some, some, sometime soon about it. Even Spike, of all other police in, in Ponyville, had actually also fallen in love with Fleetfoot. 
she didn't he didn't know that Blitzfoot was actually involved for him too. He actually was told about it later on from Rainbow Dash. He actually t she told him after that Fleetfoot even asked her to said if she could tell Spike, and she did. Spike was more than surprised about this, but when she came back to Ponyville for a visit, she actually told him that that it was actually all true. In fact. They actually went on more dates that time, and even the time that they spent together, it was very much great for them. At first, Spike was prepared for many of the ponies in town would even respect or even accept that he was he still was a baby dragon and then she was she was an adult. But most of the ponies, most all of the ponies were actually in it and remind them. They were just happy to see Spike happy since. He, he had done so much for them over the years. And even Fleetwood's family was very surprised to see that she was dating Spike. But they were just happy to see that she was happy again. After they noticed that she was very down and very heartbroken since her old boyfriend dumped her like that. And they noticed that even Spike had treated her so much for respect, kindness, and honesty. That is something he, her old boyfriend didn't do. Leaving her like that for, for some, some other pony is not what she would not would be through. And of course, Spike and Flitfield had some their, some arguments over time, but they were just they always forgave each other about it and always get back together. And even when Spike visit Crystal Empire to see Forex and Sunburst, sometimes he wrote to Fleetfoot about his adventures and some of his travels around Equestria. And one day, he actually wanted to see her even again. But then he found out she wasn't even in Equestria anymore. She was actually in Saudi Arabia for a, for a wonderful show, so he decided to wait until she came back home. It it was told from Rainbow before she left that they would be back for the next two weeks, and Spike he was actually were ready to wait for all that time to wait for her. He would even wait for her even for 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 eternity. Since she is his true love, he loves Flayfoot so much. And after two weeks, when she came back, he actually asked her out again. And this time, they have been together for almost like four months, and they were so happy together. Even Twilight had noticed that Spike had been more happier since he met Flayfoot. But one day, when Fritz was actually out for a walk nearby Ponyville, a group of ponies actually approached her, and she thought it was just some fans. But instead, before she even could react, some of the ponies actually threw something near her, and when she exploded, and she collapsed on the ground. There was actually robbers, or even. They were actually more kidnappers, and they brought her some to an old abandoned castle, or at least an old abandoned building somewhere in northern Equestria. They wrote two letters: one to Spike and one to Wonderbolts, to manage one million bits for each of the letters total, two millions for her safe. Safety. When Spike was, when he had read the letter, he was filled with rage. He was so raged and furious about it. And what the Wonderbolts, the same thing. They flew all to Ponyville and to told Spike about it. But he told her and even showed them the letter as well. And they all wanted to find, to find her. But how? Then, 
Spike remembers. Fluttershy. She could help them. But they asked how could she help. She has the ability to talk to animals. So Spike asked Fluttershy if she could ask some bird friends. If they could some fly around Equestria to ask other bird friends if they know if she, where they can find her. And just within two days, Fluttershy came back to Ponyville to tell Spike and the Wonderbots that she had that they have found her. She was actually not so far from the Crystal Empire, just about almost twenty miles from it. Then they actually flew all the way there with Spike on Soren's back. Even Spike was now so furious about so much rage. At the, the old building, the kidnappers was just playing cards. Well, when Flipsus was in some sort of old room, tied up, she would even were able to escape. Then she heard a lot of banging and screamings outside, and suddenly there was quiet. Then she heard that some pony was outside the door, and banged open the door, and there was. Sorin, Spitfire, and even Spike. Spike ran up to her and freed her from the ropes, and she hugged him. It was more than any pony had done for her and ever. And for the next time, for the several months, she actually dated her him even more. And with the next five years, they actually became married. Spike was every now she always was she wanted to be. She wanted to be with Spike, and now they were married. As soon with the next couple years, they actually had daughters together. They had three daughters of their own, and Fleetfoot was actually happy to be married with her savior and even her hero, and Spike. Even then, he didn't regret any day that he met Fleetfoot and married her, since she is his true love. I don't know all the years that he had been alone, and this is how Fleetfoot and Spike found the true love, and they got a family together. The end.